Hello and welcome to another video in my C Sharp Basics uh, tutorial series. Um, as always, uh, let's go ahead and you can please go ahead and follow me on GitHub, uh, visit my website. Uh, if you want to email, then email address is there. Now in this one, so we are going to look into some string methods. Now I have mentioned this before, now string manipulation, string formatting, string related operations, they are a huge topic on their own accord. So really, if you want to become like an expert in strings, you could spend, you know, a lot of time just doing string related activities so but i what i've done is i've picked out as all as it is with the rest of my videos i picked out things which are useful to me the things that are um, useful as part of your daily life and stuff like that so that's what we are going to do so i have four functions for you let me just create the folder here creating the project console project there we go we'll call this string oh whoa whoa what did i do um string methods and voila here we go okay so there are a lot of uh, oh, i just realized i am i'm suddenly thirsty hold on right then um Okay, so there are uh, a few string functions which we do use regularly. So let's go ahead and do that. As always, I'm gonna create a string called I am Batman. What string is equal to I am Batman, okay. So here, what I wanna do first is I have my notes here, I have my script here. So what I'm supposed to do, index of, okay. So first thing is index of, it gives you the position of a specific character. Now you remember that strings are ultimately an array of characters. So whatever array operations you can do, you can do it here as well. So let's try to find out position of A. I'm trying to find the first A. So I'm going to say, um, do I have to, yeah. So I just need to use the variable name and then I can say index of, and then I'm going to say A. Okay, so now if I say console.write line position of A, I think the position will be 0, 1, 2. Let's see. There it is. The position is 2. Okay, let's keep going. What else I need to find out? I want to find out. Let's see. Index of, index of, that's fine. I want to find a substring. You know, substring is extracting a string out of it. So let's try that. So what I want to do is string example substring is equal to um that somebody was calling me. Uh is equal to the substring. So I'm going to say string example uh from the position of A. So that means I should get everything from the second and the third word let's find out for ourselves so let's go ahead and do that here so there you go so from the second position whatever you have i think there's an option here to get a you know between this and this so let's try to do that so i am going to say war string example substring uh, two and here i'm going to say string um, example dot substring and i'm going to start from the second zero one two three four five from the fifth position and i want to get three letters so i can i want three characters so that's going to be bat so i think this is going to say the bat i mean just bat let's find out yes it does Okay, that's that string, um, substring. Is there anything else I need to find out? Let's see. Mm -hmm. So I have index of, then uh, substring. Okay, and let's, let's look at the replace function. Here we go. Yeah, for these things, I really want to use my diary because I don't use these things often, so I, I need some help here. So I wanna say, Remove, okay, so let's say war um, remove example is equal to string example dot remove, okay, and I want to say there are two options here. Let me take help from intelligence here and the count. So I want to remove from 
I wanted to get rid of the first thing. So I want to start from the zeroth position and I want to re remove I M. So that is like zero, one, two, three, four characters. If I remove the four characters, let's see what happens. Do I get Batman or do I get I M? Oh, I do get the Batman, but I forgot to remove the first space. So it's zero, one, two, three. That's actually four. I mean, I'm, I'm starting from zero as in array, but the count is actually one, two, three, four. So I want to remove the first five characters. I want the space to go away. I just want to take out the Batman. Okay, all right, that was easy. That was easy. Very good, very good. Okay, so that's about the remove thing. Now, how does the replace work? Let's try to do that. I'm going to say war replace example is equal to string example hold on uh, dot replace and here i'm going to say let me replace b with c so it's not batman it becomes catman let's try that so i am going to say uh, b and change that to c and here we go I, I forgot to put the console dot right line. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, and then I want to say console dot right line. Okay, I should get I am Catman. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, so yeah, that that that's the you know the four things I wanted to discuss in this one. Now, when when do we use this? Um, that's what I want to mention a little bit. Now, I I haven't used it all that much. You know, whenever it comes to String manipulation, I have always been traditionally weak because I haven't done too much of it. And whenever I have to do any kind of string manipulation, a lot of times I just find the answer online or just use AI for it and get over it. But yeah, so, but I have used it though. Like for example, let's say, let's say you are, you're getting images by the upload endpoint in an API. So, you know, maybe the file uh, name, you know, it's very common for people to put spaces in file names. So obviously, as a developer, whenever I create a file name, I will use an underscore or a dash or a hyphen, um, which is the same thing. Sorry, uh, but but a lot most a lot of people wouldn't do that, and sometimes you know spaces just show up in file names. You know, you can't really help it. So in those cases, maybe you know you want to replace the spaces with a dash. That's one situation where you might use it. Uh, another situation is, uh, let's say you're trying to remove, you, if the file name is too too long, you're trying to remove half the file names or something, you're trying to limit the length of something, that's another place. Uh, and you're trying to find the index of something, you know, that could be useful when you want to change a specific location or something, that could be where it's useful. Remove, again, if you wanna cut down or remove some parts of the uh, string before you save it in the database or something. So there are a lot of places where you might use these string methods and they are useful. And as you saw for yourself, you know, index, just count the index and then go for it, you know, remove, remove what you want to do, give it, give the position and stuff like that. And obviously replace when you want to replace and substring, you know, just get a part of the string from the big string. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Just a quick video here on string methods. Hopefully, I uh, you know that was useful and I'll see you in the next one.